good. Started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it clinical examination session, can we begin? Okay, um, I will enter, I will wash my hands, I will introduce myself, I'm Dr. Kolade. Uh, we like to examine your abdomen today. It's okay by you, sir. Can I yes. confirm your name and age also? I'm Thomas, 56 years old. Okay, do you have pain at any part of your tummy today? Yes. In my tummy. Okay. So I will expose the patient. And because the patient is having a shortness of breath, abdominal pain also from examination. So I want to, uh, the patient is critical patient. So I want to manage the patient using uh, the CRIPS uh, protocol. Not so yet. since the patient is. Not yet. Okay. Uh, but you'll do the inspection. Okay. I yeah? want. Okay, I want to do the inspection. I will first do this rapid general examination, looking yes. at his, whether he's paid, whether he has jaundice, and then the level of the addition and then the edema. Then I will expose the abdomen from the nipple down to the to the knee. Yes. And go to and um, check beside him and then full bed to know whether there is abdominal uh, um, if the abdomen is rising or not. Then I'll go to his bedside now. Where do you have pain, sir? In the tummy. Do you have pain at any particular yes. part? So which uh, in the tummy, and then you once you'll do the okay, superficial the... palpation, patient will do R. Yes, I want to know. I want to. I want to know where the pain is. If is the pain is located in one quadrant, so that I can start from the other one. The patient has pain in all parts. Once I go from side, the patient is not having pain. Then I will not have to go to using creeps to manage the patient. So that's why I want to know if there is a particular spot where the pain is, ma. It's all over my tummy. It's, okay, it's all over the tummy. So the papis, then they will do light palpation starting from the left iliac uh, fossa. So if the patient has pain, I will stop the examination and then I will uh, use scripts protocol to manage the patient. Just uh, imagine and think, patient was operated, uh, had left hemicolectomy, so maybe you can try and begin from the right side. Okay, okay, man. Because of that, I will begin from yeah. the from the right and uh, iliac fossa. So if patient is still having pain, even on life palpation on the right iliac fossa, I will have to abandon it because patient is having pain in the, in the abdomen and also the shortness of breath. So I want to manage patient using the CRIPS protocol. Since yes. patient is talking, I want to assume that patient has the airway is patent. So yes. for the breathing, I want to check the, the tongue of the patient, if there is cyanosis or not. Then I want to examine his... Uh, his uh, the exam trachea is central. Then I will check for checks and expansion by putting my hands on his chest and look, I tell him to breathe in and breathe out. I will do the parkour to see if there's any dullness in any part and then auscultate the, the chest also. For, for the C, I want to check that the patient is not, I'll check for the pallor if it's spilled and then also the dehydration also in the patient. Then I will um, um, palpate to locate the, the, Apex of the heart and also auscultate his heart to check for the heart stance. For the D, I will, since the patient is uh, conscious, that means, and is talking, patient is alert. Then for the E, I will expose the patient. I will check the, look at the tummy, uh, expose the wound. I want to expose the wound, your wound, sir. I want to look at the wound. So I will expose the wound. Uh, yes, examiner will say consider. So that means okay. you cannot. Okay, all right, man. So after that, I will check. The, the legs of the patient to yes. see that patient is on 
that's Head token stock. or not. Yes. Then I also check for check for uh, calf. Uh, if there's tenderness on the uh, yes. of the of, of, of squeezing of the calf uh, muscle. No. So after after that, after that, uh, then I want to check the patient. Uh, I request for the patient um, chat and uh, and investigation results that are available. Yes. To see uh, how patient vitals have been the last uh, few few hours and this, and then the investigation results that are also uh, available. Yes. So that will help me to know how patient has, has been has been fearing, fearing in the past and uh, this. Yes. How much more? Is so that? depending. Yes. Pardon, ma. Yes, continue. So depending on after that, then I want to order for investigation. I want to do a um, blood test, order for full blood count, order for electrolyte and creatinine, also order for arterial blood gas and analysis. And I want to do abdominal perfect ultrasound to look at the the if there is any intraabdominal collection, the volume of the collection, and where particular the volume is. Special will be placed on a uh, need per hours. Uh, IV intravenous fluid and then NG tube will be passed and then retract catheter to monitor the urine output. Patient will be placed on antibiotics and uh, analgesics also for him. Then depending on the investigation results, we know what's next to do for him, ma. Yes. So. So if the investigation. Yes. Okay. Yes, continue because you still have few seconds left. Okay, if the investigation results shows that there is an intra-abdominal uh, collection, this will, uh, this will result from either an anastomotic leakage or intra-abdominal uh, abscess uh, collection. Patients will need to have a laparoscopic pouch yes. and we be done so for the ankylostomy will be done. present your examination now? So I've uh, examined um, a 56-year-old man who is a uh, six days post-op after he left an uh, hemicolectomy. However, I present to A and E today with uh, complaints of shortness of breath and uh, abdominal pain. He has a uh, is, is, uh, pill and then is a uh, tachy with uh, generalized tenderness in in the amen. the vitals are shown then that the the pulse rates and the the respiratory rates has been increasing in the recent uh, in the last few hours to his presentation okay after presentation so what is your provisional diagnosis for this patient my prognosis is uh, a possible anastomotic uh, leak to rule yes. out uh, intraabdominal uh, collection. Uh. Okay. So, all right. What management can you offer? The, the management that we offer to the, to the patient, the patient should be placed on a uh, uh, name per oris. I want to do uh, the allegations to, to confirm my diagnosis. I want to do blood tests, full blood count, and uh, C-reactive protein, and um, Electrolyte reaction also will be done. Also, uh, arterial blood gases and lactate and determination will be ordered. Also, um, the ultra abdominal assessment will be done to assess the abdomen, see the uh, amount of uh, intraabdominal collection that is present. Then, the patient will be placed on antibiotics, intravenous fluid, MPO, and then we pass as to monitor his uh, urine output hourly. Yes, and it will be an urgent support me, so you'll definitely do, and you'll insert in yes. uh, as well for the suction for the ball rest, and you'll also do the CTPA to rule off because patient is having shortness of breath, so to rule off pulmonary embolism. First, you'll do the abdominal okay, ultrasound. Uh, to detect any abdominal collection, then you will go for the CT, gastrocrasin and MR, to identify the leaking anastomosis. Then you will go for the urgent reporting. And
and you do the procedure. Okay, once you were taking, uh, once you were doing the examination, so, all right, you did the airway right, but for breathing, right, you check the mouth for sinuses, you check the trachea, but then uh, chest wall movements, you assess, you did the percussion and auscultation? No. Yes, ma. I did, ma. Okay. Ma. I don't remember you did. For the chest, I percussed and auscultation. Okay. Uh, then there is circulation. You have to look for the mouth for the dehydration and the eye for the pallor, neck veins for engorgement oh, yes. and the heart auscultation. Oscul oh, yes. I didn't, I didn't check for the neck vein. Yeah. No, then, I didn't check for the neck veins. No. I, I checked one. Then you look for disability in the patient and then you also did the exposure, ask for the wound exposure, dressing. Squeeze the calf muscle for tenderness. You did that. Okay. Anything else that you missed? I think you covered most of it. Most, yeah. Good. Thank you. So now you know that you'll start uh, off. Uh, uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Yes, ma. I have a question. The, if the patient, there is no calf tenderness is this still compulsory that i should still request no. for a ctpa for the patients ma? no but then um, maybe okay, it has been dislodged so then you can do ctpa ctpa for pulmonary embolism just like you can say it because patient is having shortness of breath as well okay, and patient mm -hmm. is post op and bedridden mm -hmm. so possibility is there i don't know yeah yeah, still has the risk. Yes. Good. Thank you. Start with your timer and here is your 